It's arguably been years since there's been so much talk about the Ontario Science Centre. All of us grew up going to the Science Centre one time or another. It's tired. It's tired and the team over at Ontario Science Centre is doing an incredible job. Premier Doug Ford and his government announced plans this week to move the iconic institution to Ontario Place. They're doing everything they can with a rundown old building. Opened in 1969, there's no question it's showing its age. But is it run down? We thought we'd take a look. So if you've been to the Science Centre, you know there's a huge bridge that connects to the rest of the complex. However, it is seemingly closed for maintenance. In order to even get into the Science Centre, you have to take a shuttle bus. The bridge has been closed for so long, it's even noted on the map, but not too many other major telltale signs of decay. After entering through the back door and once inside, it's not hard to find the classics, like the hair raising experience. It still draws lines. The Omnimax Theater is running strong, even if the main escalator outside of it isn't, at least when I drop by. You can catch one of the several 45 minute films throughout the day. Wander through the exhibits, you'll find older installations such as the Swinging Pendulum or the Tornado Generator. One of the things so synonymous with the Ontario Science Centre is the multiple levels that go way down into the ravine. Now, these are accessible through escalators. As you can see, they're still running. Heading up toward the amateur radio station and into the space section, for instance, you're constantly reminded of the beautiful natural surroundings inside and out. On this day, the outdoor learning area was closed, but the rainforest with its waterfall set against the aging walls is still a must visit here. So even as you walk through the building, yes, there's a lot of old facades, but look at spaces like this. This is the hot zone, definitely embracing things like multimedia visuals to entertain visitors. Another new space is the AstraZeneca Human Edge. It's focused on human health. Exhibit pieces include a look at mRNA vaccines, this device shows people how blunt force can impact the skull. As parts of the center sit empty, still signs of life in these halls. As for the future, Ford says a new Ontario Place facility would be welcomed by the center's staff. They want something new. They want something sparkling and, and have an opportunity to be able to walk in a beautiful facility rather than a rundown old building. But Don Valley East Liberal MPP Adil Shamji says it should stay where it is. Is it an older building? Of course it is. We can't tear everything down that needs a little bit of work. But there is a business model there. There is a revenue generation model there. At the Ontario Science Centre, Nick Westall, City News.